I hope uh, uh, everybody is able to uh, listen uh, comfortably here. I'm not sure from where I will start, but very important thing is that all of us, we know uh, that any civilization of mankind in the past, they grew and ascended to a point where they could not sustain that ascendancy. By looking at the history, by looking at the archaeological findings, we see that many civilizations came up. We saw in Egypt the civilization based on mysticism and dogmas. We saw a civilization, we heard of civilization in extricated archaeological finds in Mesopotamia. We found it in Indus Valley, Chinese civilization based on Confucianism and Indian civilization based on the myths. And then we found the Roman civilization based on the Christianity and the power of Christianity and religion. And then we, we had the golden period of what they call Islamic civilization. All these civilizations in the past had one thing in common, that they could not pursue, pursue the, and could not combine and could not take care of the heterogeneous society that they belonged to. There were conquests of different places, there were invasions, and these were the big empires, but they could not sustain themselves because we, unless you do not take care of on a level field, the aspirations of those societies whom you have conquered or you have invaded or you have uh, annexed, unless you don't take them, their aspirations into consideration, those civilizations will fall eventually. And that's what happened in the past. Today, in our civilization, we are in pursuit of the far reaches of space and we are seeking the knowledge and understanding of the physical world that we live in. We are going into the deep sea and finding the, what is what this planet is all about. And there are challenges for this human race today to sustain this ascendancy. But there would be pitfalls and we have to take care of those pitfalls. And those pitfalls are nations today have nuclear arsenals all over. There are many nations who have within them, they, can, they have the capabilities of destroying the world, not once, not twice. They have the capabilities of doing it ten times. So we are living in a dangerous world in which conflicts and issues have to be resolved. If we do not do that, we may fall in the abyss and this civilization may end up in the ruins. So one of the recent issues, when nation states in the name of democracy, when the autocratic states in the name of nationalism and then religious states in the national in the interest of religious religion they they create a nation state and then those nation states when they become big and strong somehow they have the courage and somehow they, with impunity they annex other nations, small nations. So that is what has happened in Ukraine lately, which the Western media is uh, showing considerably the knowledge of that. But dear audience, there are other conflicts and other issues in the world. 
which do not uh, get that media uh, as you get from Ukraine. There is Kashmir. Kashmir is one of the places where an occupation has taken place uh, like Ukraine. In Ukraine, there is an occupation of Russia going on this time. But in Kashmir, we have three nuclear powers who have occupied us. If you can see these maps here, we have put in red, yellow, and green. You will see these are three neighbors of Kashmir who have forcibly taken and occupied. You, you would be knowing that North Korea and South Korea have a military zone, demilitarized zone there. And uh, everybody is talking about that it's the most militarized zone in the world. But when you look at this Kashmir, there is more than 1.3 million army which is occupying. Uh, one is India with 800,000 army within that yellow, yellow area. And then there is Pakistan's 200,000 army in that green area. And then China, China's EAF, People's Liberation Army, in that red one. And these are all occupations of our land, our people. We were in the history, like Ukraine was divided many times in the history. It was invaded. There were agreements of sale in Ukraine. A similar sale deeds were done in Kashmir. I do not want to go back into the history of it, but important for us at this stage for Kashmiris is to make an awareness and we will request all of you to help us, whosoever in whatever capacity you can, help spread that occupations must end if conflicts have to be resolved. And unless we have conflicts, whether the conflict is Kashmir, Ukraine, whether it is Solomon Islands, Japan and China, whether it is uh, Cyprus between Turkey and Greece, whether it's all other uh, the, territorial disputes uh, with other uh, countries, uh, unless we do not as a civilization resolve these conflicts and issues, I think uh, we may be heading towards a nuclear war in some time, God forbid. Because we have that. We have seen uh, President Putin even uh, giving indication that they will uh, he can use nuclear war, uh, nuclear arsenal. The, one of his statements, I think, if I am not wrong, says that uh, if Russia is not there, I don't care the world is there. So that kind of that kind of attitude is dangerous. It is ominous for the civilization to sustain. So again, I do not want to. There are other speakers here who would definitely talk about Kashmir how it is the human rights abuses are going. But definitely I would request you in your own individual capacity to help Kashmir by making awareness about them, about the place. Thank you.